Alright, I have tons of write-ups to do, but my first one has been done a couple times before, but I searched and there don't seem to be any on the Nerf HQ forums for a write-up. So here we go. I'm going to, first thing you want to do, my mod's already done, so I'll, I'll try and explain it to you best as I can um, without, um, I guess, doing it. Um, you're gonna first. You're gonna want to open your just the, take the screws out of your gun, which I'm gonna do in a second. All right. So that is what your blasters are gonna look like. We're gonna concentrate on the uh, the SSPB first, or the Secret Strike Pocket Blaster, if I'm correct. So it comes with this little shell to make it, I guess, look cooler, and this little keychain. So I guess it's kind of cool. If you're not gonna do this integration, I'm probably gonna buy another one. And just not integrate it because it's a it's a cool little blaster and you can just have one on your waist and just shoot it you know as like a third a second sidearm so here's your gun here your main gun here first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take out the air restrictor I have every I have the peg out but I don't have the rest of the air restrictor out so I still have to do that so yep then after that, after you do that, you're probably going to want to do that with a drill, but you could probably do it with a, um, a, uh, what's it called, um, screwdriver. Then, uh, you're going to want to take this, you're going to want to put the SSPB in this hole here, where the screw goes for the casing, there. You're going to want to take that, and you're going to want to screw all the way, and you, this is just going to be your back hole. Then you're gonna have two holes that look like this. You're gonna want to widen a hole, the one of the holes, the the hole on the right to look like to look to be this big or around that big, just so it fits into the night finder where the ammo holders would be. So I'm gonna show you how to. So once you do that, then you're ready to do the integration. You can plug the pump pump. Um, but I'm not going to, and I still have to do a CPVC barrel, so I'm, and I'm going to get some CPVC tonight. So, we're going to go like this, and now we're going to do the night finder. So, one sec, I gotta pop the, you know, forget it, I, the catch popped out, see. So, um, you're going to want to, first thing you're going to want to do, is you're going to take out these two ammo holders here. Bam, those are gone. You can relocate one into the stock if you want to. I'm not sure what you'd want to do, or you could just slap them on a different blaster. I'm going to put these on my big bed bow, so that's what I'm going to do. But you're going to want to, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out this part here and unscrew that piece and that piece. So I'm going to do that right now. Once you have that done, pull your um, plunger tube and your plunger rod and your catch and your spring and all that good stuff out. And you can just set aside your the shell itself, the ammo holders, make sure you have these two screws in a good location and you can also set outside your SSPB for now. Um, now you're gonna do most of the mods that Angel, credit goes to Angel of Fish is Ultimate Night Finder mod. I did, I think this is step, this is, I mostly done step one and I have everything done, I think, in step two, except for the CPVC barrel, which, like I said, I'm going to do that also tonight. So, um, you know, you're going to want to, if you need help on the CPVC barrel, go to NerfHQ.com and look at Angel of Fish's mod. Uh, Ultimate, I think it's called the Ultimate Night Finder Modification Guide or something like that. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to unscrew your plunger head like that which I'm going to do right now. So now you have that off, and that's done. And now you have your plunger tube, your barrel thing, your plunger head, which you can always reinforce, That's, but I'm not doing that. And then you have your O-ring on top of that. And then you have your spring. This is not the night finder spring. It has two springs in there. And then you have your plunger rod and your catch. So um, everything, I think, is in Angel of Fish's mod. I, th I don't remember if there's a plunger head reinforcement. I'm pro 
um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take a, a steel washer, I'm not really sure what size, and you're going to want to hot glue that to that. I think that's what you can do. And then you can put some craft foam on there, but I'm not exactly sure. So I'll, I'll put an annotation to see if, if you can do that. Um, another thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to wrap E-tape or put another O-ring on the plunger head here for a better seal. Um, oh, the craft foam here helps to silence the blaster to make it a little uh, less loud. Then you're going to want to take, like I said, this is a work in progress, so it's not completed, but I'm just telling you what you have to do. Then you're going to take your rod, and you're going to take pieces of coat hanger, and you're going to hot glue them in there. And that keeps them this from shattering. And you're also going to want to fill this with hot glue. And I've already done that on my other blue knife finder that I showed you. Um, then you're going to want to take your knife, your knife finder spring, which is somewhere in here. And then I just grabbed a random, I think it was an old version of the Texic spring, and I threw that in there. And that's a pretty strong spin combo, and with that, yeah. And then you're going to want to take your catch. I'm not doing anything. You could probably put a better spring in, but I'm not going to do that right now. So once you have all this, you can add whatever kind of spring you want. You can a I think it's an Ace 49. That's also really good to add, but you would not add it. You'd uh, just take the Nightfinder spring off. Or you could add it, you could add it. Alright, and then you're going to want to put your catch back on, and your plunger head back on, and then you're done with the plunger rod here. So once you have all that done, put your plunger tube back in, which I'm having trouble with the, the screws kind of like stuck in there, so I have to get that out. But uh, once you're done with that, you're going to take your tube. First of all, um, mine was glued shut, so I froze it, and then try to put it in hot water, and in boiling water and that didn't work fast enough for me so I just took my drill and I drilled all of it out. Make sure you can see all the way through. See? Like that. That's the air restrictor. Um, yep. And then I had, and then to create a perfect seal it'd be ideal if you could do e-tape around here but I just did some scotch tape. But I didn't have any. So now let's just ignore all this, these pieces for now and you're gonna go to your main blaster. Um, you could rip this out and then put the SSPB in there, like that, but I'm just going to keep it like that, I guess, for now, and I'll, that's what I'll do. So you're, you're going to want to take your SSPB, sorry, my mom came into my room. So you have to take your SSPB and put everything, and you have to remember that hole has to be big enough for this peg to fit through. Same here. Once you've checked that, then you're good. So you should probably do this as your first step. And this video is kind of getting a little long, so I'm going to try and hurry it up. So, then on your other half of the shell, not the half with, all, with the trigger and the light in it, and where the plunger tube would go, but uh, you're going to want to go, and you're going to want to either cut, hacksaw, or dremel them off. I had to use some scissors because I don't have a dremel, and I couldn't hacksaw them off. So you have to hacksaw them off. They're about... They're about that big, and you want to hacksaw them down to just about to the end of there, so the SSPB can fit in perfectly. So once you have everything assembled like that, it's going to look like that. And I don't have my plunger tube in yet, but I will in a second. And you're just going to go and place your, your night finder back together, and it's going to look like that, but with the plunger tube uh, in it. And then you're going to, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put these screws right in right away so this does not end. As you can see, it's pretty tight. It looks kind of weird because the ammo holders are gone. But that's it. That's a good mod modification. So, um, ranges are about 45, 50 feet. And then on the SSPB, they're about 20 or 25. So, see my other, my range test if you really want to see. And, uh, bye.